children so after a long gap we are back with the online classes so as you know that uh, this time your exam the pt2 exam will be your pen and paper based exam so in this case you have to be very careful with that so that means you have to do properly you have to do the practice everything you have to do your concept should be clear everything so go thoroughly from the beginning then only you will be able to do that uh, every problem singles easy problem top problem everything you will uh, very conveniently you can solve the problems so uh, let's start it so in this uh, pt2 your first one chapter is uh, algebraic factorization of algebraic expressions and the next chapter is uh, uh, exponent and powers okay so let's start for first with your algebraic expression factorization of algebraic expression so uh, in the earlier classes you have got to know that what is factors factors are suppose a number is given suppose that number is your 14 okay so that 14 what are the factors of the 14 so factors of 14 is we can write 2 into 7 that means 2 is one factor and 7 is one factor these all are called as a factors factors of what factors of 14 so that means factors means with that number factors of 14 means that means if you divide this number by 7 or 2 it will be divisible so factors are the uh, simplest form of that number that means uh, this is 14 you can write in the simplified form 2 into 7 so further if it is uh, whether it is possible or not to simplify it further 2 into 7 suppose it is given can you again write in the simplified form no so these are the least factors of the 14 so suppose here it is given 12 12 we can write 2 into 6 so further we can write 6 into simplified form so 2 into 2 into 3 so what are the factors of 12 so factors of 12 are 2 2 and 3 this all these three are the factors of 3 so further after that we cannot do any simplification so these are the simplest form of this term 12 isn't it so by doing this multiplication we will get if you multiply all the factors you will get this number here also if you multiply all the factors of 14 you will get 14 isn't it so so in this case these, these are all in the numerical form these all are in the numerical form so in algebraic expression because the chapter name is algebraic expression so in that case how will you find the factors in that case it is given in the alphabetic form suppose a square plus a like this it is given so in that case how will you find the factors so let's start so here the first procedure is factorize when the when have when we have common monomial terms that means when we have the common monomial term at that time we can factorize them suppose here see an example this is factorize the following question which is given 3x minus 12 3x minus 12 it is given so here see the factors here um, how to find factor in that case here 3 is given 3x and here 12 so can i in the first case i am simplifying so 4 12 is there can i write 3 into 4 okay so in this term also 3 is there in this term also 3 is there so if i take 3 common then what i will get x in this case i have taken the 3 so the x i have 3 i have taken now what is remaining here only the x is there now minus is there so i have given minus here 3 in this case also 3, 3 is there so i have taken this 3 already so 3 i have taken now what is left 4 x minus 4 so that means this so what are the after that any common is possible we can we take any common from this no so here 3 is only prime number so 3 into x minus 4 so these are the what factors of 3x minus 12 so this is one factor this is one factors okay so here in this case also see 10 pq 12 p square q 2 into 5 pq 2 into 2 into uh, see here 10 pq minus 12 p square q here 10 is there here 12 is first you check numerical numerical value here 10 is there 12 is there is there any common yes 2 is there in between two, 10 and 12 what are the common factors 2 is there so if you confuse so you, uh, you can split the numerical terms 
10 I can write 2 into 5 12 I can write 2 into 2 into 3 so here 2 is there here also 2 is there so I can take the 2 common P is there here P and Q here P square Q is there so P Q P square Q so in this case I can take P common and Q Q common so ultimately what we have to take common 2 1 2 we can take common 2 and p in the both the case p is there here p is there here p is square is there so i can take the least one that means p i can take common here q here q so 2 p q if i take common 2 p q i have to take in common so 2 already gone now what is the numerical part left 5 p q already there so only 5 will be left here 2 p q 2 i have taken already now what will be the numerical 2 already gone another 2 and 3 is there 2 3 is a 6 and p and q here yeah, but here p square q is there so already 1 p i have taken q i have taken so now from p square 1 i have taken so what will be remaining p so that means 6 p okay in this case 6p plus 8p square plus 4p cube. Now in this case you tell me first of all what numerical value we can take. 6 is there, 8 is there, 4 is there. So both the case it uh, 2 is the common factor. 2, 2, here is a 2. So if I take 2. Now see here p is there, here p square, here p cube. So I can take p common. So 2p I have taken common. Now see 2, 3 is a 6. That means here 1, 3 is there. That 3 I have taken. P already I have taken after the nothing left. In now second round 2 I have taken P I have taken now what is left 2 4 is the A that means 4 is there P already I have taken from this P square that means 1 P is there 4 P here 4 P cube from this 4 we have taken 2 P cube P I have taken so 2 P square these are the so this is one factor this is one factor of this term algebraic expression in this case 14 m power 5 n power 4 p square Fourteen m power 5 n power 4 p square minus 42 m power 7 n cube p power 7 70 m power 6 n power 4 p cube okay so in the both case 14 42 70 so what i can take common first of all you have to check the numerical fellow 14 42 70 both are multiples of 14 so i can take the 14 common now check the algebra uh, literal fellow m power 5 is there m power 7 is there m power 6 is there which one is lowest m power 5 that means m power 5 i can take now n power 4 n cube n power 4 so which one i can take n cube i can take P square p power 7 p cube square is there 7 is there 3 is there this is the lowest one i have to take so p square i have taken now 14 already gone m power 5 taken n cube here n power 4 that means 1 n will be there p square p square only n will be left 14 how much are 42 3 is up now m power 5 here m power 7 that means n square here n power cube n power cube none no n term will be left p square here p power 7 so that means it will be p power 5 from 7 2 already have taken so 7 minus 2 5 will be remaining and 14 70 so 5 m power 5 here m power 6 that means 1 m will be there n power 3 n power 4 that means 1 n will be there p square p cube after the check any common term is there in this case here n is there here m is there here m and n be there so no common term for all this so that means this is one factor this other one factor this only your answer uh, similarly see question number 17 15 y square z cube 20 y cube z power 4 35 y square z square so here uh, what is common numerical term factor 55 15 20 35 so here common term only 5 y square y cube y square y square i can take z cube z power 4 z square so z square so now what will be the 3 z 4 z y z square plus 7 okay now for exercise 6b when given algebraic expression contains common binomial factors when given algebraic expression contains common binomial factors so far we have got the fact common factors are monomial monomial that means single term 
either it will be numerical value or it will be it may be return value but the single term we have got so far but here algebraic expression we will get some binomial that means two term factors we will get so let's see here z into z minus 1 plus 2 into z minus 1 see here in this case z minus 1 is the common here z minus 1 so we can take z minus 1 common so if we take z minus 1 common outside then this term already i have taken so what is left now z here also z minus 1 i have taken so what is left 2 plus 2 so that's why plus 2 okay okay now here see one thing can you Tell me what is the difference between A minus B and B minus A. Is there any difference? Yes, it is. Uh, they are different. What, how? Suppose 2 plus 3, if I write, it will be 5. If I write 3 plus 2, it will be also 5. So, in case of addition, the order doesn't matter. So, if you take 2 plus 3, then also you will get same answer. If you take 3 plus 2, then also you will get the same answer. But in case of subtraction, if you write order matters, that means if I write 2 minus 3 like this, if I write 2 minus 3, then it will be minus 1. But if I write 3 minus 2, I will get 1. So can you tell me minus 1 or 1? Are they same or different? Obviously they are different. This one is negative of 1 and this one is 1. Isn't it? That means you have this money and you have lost suppose 1 rupees in your pocket one money is there suppose from ram you you can t uh, from ram has taken money from you one rupees ram has taken from that means one day he will return you this is plus one that means you will get that money but you have taken some uh, from someone's from someone you have taken one rupees so that money is in one day any one day if, that means you have to return to them so that means this money ultimately it will be it belongs to who it belongs to other it is not yours that means negative that means negative so minus 2 also not equal with plus 2 that means this 2 is yours this minus 2 is not yours it will be it belongs to others like this you have to understand okay so why i tell this one you will come to know that here d into d minus 5 7 plus 7 into 5 minus d this one is given so here d minus 5 here 5 minus d so how will you get now d minus 5 here 5 minus d in this case all the terms are same but the thing is that here order is given differently so if i write here so see if if you have 5 minus d can i write like this minus d plus 5 this one i have written previous then i have written so if i take minus 1 common then can I write minus of 1 into D minus 5. See, if you do the multiplication, minus 1 plus D minus D minus minus plus 5. That only we will get. So, this one I can write in this form. So, that means 5 minus D is equal to minus of D minus 5. So, 5 minus D I can write minus of D minus 5. Why I have written? Because in the previous term it is given d minus 5 that's why i have written in the form of d minus 5 because why we have to take common common binomial so here also d minus 5 here also d minus 5 now let's take the d minus 5 common if i take d minus 5 common d minus 7 d minus 5 here it is it is gone already now only d left d have written d minus 5 already gone now what is left minus 7 so d minus 7 11 number 14 this is given Okay, 3y minus 5z cube plus 7 into 3y minus 5z squared is given. Square given. So, 3y minus 5z cube, 3y minus 5z square. Which one I have to take on? 3y minus 5z square, lowest one. And here 7, 14 is there, 7 is there. So, here also you can take 7, 7 common or in the second step you can also take so your choice. So, 3y minus 5z square I have taken common. So, now 14 already 2 has gone now cube is there so 1 will be left so 14 3 y minus 5 z this one already gone now what is left plus 7 okay now here 7 is there here 14 is there i can take 7 common so 7 i have taken so from this if i take 7 common what will be left only 2 2 3 y minus 5 z from 7 7 i have already taken so 7 1 the 7 so 1 this is your answer